In Door County, the man wanted for kidnapping a 13-year-old girl from her Kentucky home waived extradition this afternoon. So we'll be heading back to Kentucky where the incident started with an Amber Alert Saturday and ended with an arrest in Sturgeon Bay early Sunday. Fox 11's Mark Leland reports that while police pursue criminal charges, the victim is telling a different story. We have both sides. 43-year-old Archie Whalen told a Door County judge he is waiving extradition back to Kentucky to address the charge he kidnapped a 13-year-old girl. My, my desire, I'd like to get back to Kentucky and, and uh, get this issue A nationwide oh. Amber Alert was issued Saturday after police say Whalen took 13-year-old Haley Willett from her home in Kentucky. Sturgeon Bay Police spotted Whalen's vehicle early Sunday morning and took both Whalen and Willett into custody in the parking lot of an area hotel. According to the police report, Willett says she went willingly with Whalen, a family friend. She says she had been having a difficult time getting along with her mother, and she and Whalen devised a plan to get away and start over. Sturgeon Bay Police Chief Dan Trelka says Whalen, who has a criminal record, manipulated the girl. What he did is he exploited a situation. He exploited the circumstances to uh, his distorted and sick advantage. Willett told police Waylon never touched her and they came to Sturgeon Bay to live with his sister. He didn't know that I had moved. Blanche Waylon is aware now her brother was trying to reach her but was unaware of his plans. The two never made contact. She believes he meant no harm to the girl. I'm sure that he felt like he was saving her or protecting her. But as far as a physical, no. It's just, it's not who he is. In court, attorneys for both sides indicated rather than kidnapping, Waylon likely would face an interference with parental custody charge since the girl went willingly. It's more of a custodial interference situation. As for the 13-year-old girl, she remains in shelter care in the area here and we're told she is doing well. Her mother is expected up from Kentucky within the next day to bring her home. In Sturgeon Bay, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Police investigators also say Whalen spent time in prison for a 1998 conviction in New York involving sexual assault and false imprisonment. Also, if you have any information about this specific case that's uh, developing in Sturgeon Bay, Sturgeon Bay police say they would like to hear from you.